Hello and welcome to episode 39 of my Subnautica tutorial Let's Play series. This episode will be on finally building the Cyclops. I've been gathering all of the materials in previous episodes and upgrade modules and all whatnot. So I thought it's time to actually make it. So if we take a look at the Cyclops, we require three plasteel ingots, three enamel glass, lubricant, three lead and an advanced wiring kit. Now I'm hoping that uh, this mobile vehicle base is deep enough water to do this. It might not be, I might have to move it perhaps over that way, but I'll try first of all. I'll see if I can. And uh, yeah, I wanted to show making it. I didn't want to just make a Cyclops and then jump into the episode. That would just seem disjointed. Right, okay, so to make the advanced wiring kit you need two gold and a computer chip and the computer chip of course is two table coral gold and copper wire which I've gathered the materials already done that so let's make the wiring kit which is two silver that now allows me to make the advanced wiring kit now we need to make the enameled glass. We're going to need three of them and that's a stalker tooth and glass. And glass of course is uh, two quarts. And need three plasteel ingots. Uh, so the plastic ingot is a titanium ingot which is 10 titanium of course so let's make them and two lithium right there we go I should be good to go that should be all the materials I need let's get something to eat vehicle bay is in deep enough water to do this. Yeah, the Cyclops will basically be a nice mobile base. And there we go. Cannot build here. Must be constructed in deeper water. Right, okay, great. So let's, where's the deepest, I think it's over here, this hopefully will be deep enough. Cyclops is designed to be operated by a three-person crew. Only experienced Helms people should attempt to pilot this vehicle solo. It's really cool the way it gets built. Right, okay, let's go jump on our Cyclops. Or get in our Cyclops, I should say. Okay, the first things I want to do for the Cyclops Online. It is a beautiful ship. Um, the first thing I want to do though, however, is the power is going to be an issue. So 
So if we come down here, you'll see that it's got these, it's got six, I believe, power cells. Um, but we want to recharge them. So what I want to do, yeah, see, look, there's six of them. What I want to do is build a uh, charger, battery charger and a power cell charger on here. I believe I can make that. Yeah, so I'm going to have to have a look at what I can, what I've got the materials for, and I know two things I want to start with, and I also want to equip this. So, okay, let me just pause it here a moment. Right, so I've been having to think about what I wanted to first try and build on this. The docking. Cyclops docking bay repair module would definitely be something important. So I just need a copper wire for that. And maybe the other thing I was thinking about doing was this Cyclops depth module mark one. So I need another plasteel ingot and three rubies. So, um, but maybe I should start building some um, wall lockers so I can start storing materials on here so I'm gonna do that move some materials so I can start building uh, the battery charger and some other stuff So let's see, I'm going to need a plasteel ingot. So that's going to be 10 more of this. And of course, oops, that is going to require two lithium. So let's make that so it doesn't hog up a lot of space in my inventory. Right, so that is the depth, and let's have a look. So I need some titanium to build some of these lockers. Ah, oh, there's the Cyclops engine efficiency module, so let's grab that. Let's have a quick sleep. Okay, so I want to do definitely a battery charger on there. So I need a copper wire and a wiring kit. Oh, and that's just two silver, of course.
as the battery charger, I also want to do a power cell charger. So <clears throat> I need two more rubies, I should have enough titanium, and then an advanced wiring kit. So let's get two rubies first. the advanced wiring kit, two gold, another wiring kit, so let's get that, right, and the computer chip. Copper wire, two table coral, and gold. So we got what we need for that and that. Let's go build them on the Cyclops. Actually, I should pull the Cyclops closer. I don't know why I'm swimming all the way back and forth. Let's see, the best place I think, I like putting all the storage in there, um, let's see where it's best to put these. So power cell charger, well because the power cells are down here it makes sense to pull it near that if I can. Oh I can pull it just there. Now the power cell charger, when you charge up a power cell, it doesn't actually drain any power from the Cyclops. So, unlimited power for your Cyclops. Okay, the next thing I want to do is a battery charger. That means we're always going to have power. Um, okay, I can pull it in here, near the stairs. There we go, we've got a nice battery charger. Right, okay, let's see, what have we got enough? Oh, I've got some, so I'll do a wall locker next. This is just gonna be a massive storage area. I'm gonna store as much as I can. Put it there next to that. Can I do enough one? I can. See, can I do another one? Yeah. So I'm just going to fill the Cyclops up now with loads of these wall lockers. And then I'm going to be able to go around the different parts of the ocean, gathering up more and more resources so I can build bases at key locations. Oh, I need a fabricator. That's definitely important. So let's do that. Titanium, gold and a table coral. This time, let's move the Cyclops a bit closer if I can. Hopefully, I'm not going to crash it. <laughs> right, 
Let's see what's going on here. Oh, engine offline. Engine powering up. It would help if I turned it on. Right, okay, let's now see how close I can get to my base. So I don't have to keep swimming so far. than that. Right, okay. Let's, oh, do I have to? In fact, I'm going to let the power drain so I can display this uh, of recharging its cells. Uh, right, so what I wanted to do next That's it, a fabricator, so I need titanium, gold, and table coral. I don't know, maybe I should just end the episode here, build loads more of these uh, lockers, fill up all of the lockers, oh there's a timer, fill up all the lockers with materials, and then start the next episode by starting to build some upgrades. I did want to show though the fact that you can have this power cell charger charge up your power cells right so that's on 196 um, oh I've got to have one to swap with it oh no I can right so let's So I can put that in there, it's going to charge it back up to full. Oh, done it again. And you'll see if I run around the other side. Oh, that's using a little power. Yeah, so you've got that. I, th I think that's what it's just using for the lighting. But anyway, you can see you can just recharge back up your power cells. That's why I wanted a power cell charger in it. So you can run your cyclops around. When your power cell gets low, just recharge them back up, put them back in, and off you go again. Yeah, so I'm going to end the episode here. I don't want it to go on too long. What I'm going to be doing is filling up the um, cyclops now. Oh, no vehicles docked. I need to dock. I still haven't decided whether I want to use the Seamoth or the Prawn Suit. Uh, undecided about that at the moment. But I'll lend it here because I need to think about all what I want to do with that and take it from there. But there we go, there's the Cyclops. It's got the main components I wanted, a battery charger and a power cell charger. Um, unlimited power now for all my needs. Wherever you are in the world, God bless you and keep you safe. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic day. Goodbye.